On Wednesday of this past week, Donald Trump traveled to East Palestine, Ohio, which of course was the site of the recent devastation from the Norfolk Southern train wreck that released a toxic plume into the air and leaked toxic chemicals into the ground. The uh, list of animals that have died is now in the tens of thousands and the damage to the actual people is going to take a lot longer to fully determine. It could literally be decades before we know what these chemicals are going to do to these people. But nevertheless, Donald Trump, who of course famously repealed the train breaking rule that Obama had put in place to replace the civil war era breaking standards for trains in the United States, travels there, does his big campaign thing, hands out MAGA hats, goes to McDonald's, gives them <laughs> decade old Trump bottled water that apparently had been sitting in a warehouse for more than 10 years. And Jimmy Kimmel that evening absolutely skewered Donald Trump, not just for his Ohio stunt, but for a couple other things too, that Trump needed to be hit on. Kimmel said, quote, it's not every day you get to see a train wreck talking about a train wreck. Very apt. I think train wreck is a very good descriptor of Donald Trump. It fits his entire political career has been one giant train wreck after the other, a train wreck running into a train wreck. And it also highlights the point that Donald Trump is responsible for this. I mean, let's be very clear. His administration is the one that did away with that rule. And there was literally no reason to do away with the rule other than you just hate regulations because the liberals like regulations. And those are actually life-saving standards is a better way to put them than saying regulations. Um, and then of course, Kimmel went after him for going to McDonald's <laughs> because not only did Donald Trump do something nice, right? He did buy food for the first responders. Okay. Not bad. You, allegedly a billionaire. You could probably do better than McDonald's, but okay. A little, every little bit helps. And then he passed out MAGA hats. And of course he boasted to the workers at McDonald's in a bit of a folksy way that I know this menu better than you do. Well, no, nobody's arguing that point, Donald. So Kimmel pointed that out. But then Kimmel, who added, it's going to be a very long campaign, had this to say about Donald Trump not getting any love from his former friends during his new campaign. He said, the endeavor is already not going great. A number of his former supporters and staffers are either running or planning to run against him. His legal bills are mounting. Ron DeSantis is looming. And a new poll says that a majority of Republicans believe the GOP has a better chance of winning back the White House with someone other than Donald Trump. And yet with all that wind at his front, Donald Quixote continues to dream that impossible dream. Now, what I love about this is not just pointing out the hypocrisy of Donald Trump traveling to East Palestine, but as I said, over at ring of fire, hell, at least, at least he got there, you know, before the Biden administration did that makes them look bad. So that was a smart move on Trump's behalf, turning it into a campaign rally and handing out MAGA hats and expired water. Definitely not a, a positive there for you, but it's the other things that Kimmel pointed out that really stick out to me because those are things that I talk about. I talk about them every day, you know, with Ron DeSantis, with Donald Trump's legal problems. You've heard me say all of those things, all of the people who are not coming out and supporting Donald Trump, all the polls. I talk about that here. I talk about it at ring of fire and to hear it coming. You know, I always point this out because I do love it from a late night talk show host speaking to an audience that likely isn't consuming that same kind of news every day. That's eye opening, and it's wonderful. And I'm glad that he does it. Because those people, I guarantee you watching that program that evening learned something they didn't know in addition to being entertained. That was the power of the daily show back when Jon Stewart had, you know, turned it from a satire show kind of into a real news organization, giving people the truth mixed in with a lot of humor. Jimmy Kimmel has done that beautifully. And I'm very thankful that we got him out there doing that every week. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.